Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and even though it looks like it's the middle of the night, it's actually about quarter past nine in the morning. I've got a really big day planned out in the garden. That's why I'm having a, a breakfast. I'm whipping up a couple of scrambled eggs. second cup of coffee, warm healthy breakfast and I am gearing myself up to go outside and do some work. Mm. This is so good. This week just gone, it hasn't been productive at all. It started off well. On Monday I went for a walk along the beach with my best friend Lind. Tuesday, I went to the gym and um, did a few things. Tuesday was pretty good. If I remember correctly, I didn't feel that great Tuesday afternoon. The weather was starting to turn. We had some bad weather coming and I didn't know about and I was starting to get lots of aches and pains. Most of you will know that I have a chronic pain condition called fibromyalgia and my body reacts quite strongly to changes in the weather and we had the very unpleasant combination of high humidity and very high barometric pressure which if you know what I'm talking about then you'll know what I'm talking about because it's I was I just had a lot of pain so I, I didn't bother trying to work through it and fight through it because I just couldn't I decided to I got the cat and I got a blanket and I spent the next day and a half basically just lazing around resting moving my body a little bit just enough to keep it flexible and catching up on my Netflix viewing what did we all do before Netflix hey I don't know I'm doing the dishes can you see that it's very exciting here this morning it's just all happening um what was I saying yeah um it was very frustrating because i had all these plans for the week i had i have a whole week mapped out and all these things that i was going to do and none of them happened and that's really hard for me mentally um, i like to be organized and if i say i'm going to do something i do it and when i can't do it i just yeah i don't cope very well One good thing that's happened is that my fence is finally finished and how good does this look? Until you get down to ground level. There is a handspan or more in some places underneath the fence. And I don't know what we're going to do about it. It's really getting me down. So the problem all the time was the fact that the block next door is like, what, about 300 mil higher than my yard. And when the old fence came down, it was going to make a huge mess. So they've, I mean, they've done a really nice job on the fence. They've made it as high as they could for privacy and to keep it within the legal regulations. And it looks great. I'm really happy with it. It's nice and straight. But the problem is the ground level is uneven and, you know, ideally it would have been great to have a second row of timber under that, but no one thought of it. The problem is now I, I, I've got this gap under the fence and over there is an absolute mess. When they try to fill in that gap and tidy up that side of the fence, it's all just going to fall down into the trench and fall underneath the gaps into my yard. I'm reluctant to approach the owner. She doesn't like me very much at the moment because I made the decision to change the colour of the fence at the last minute and I couldn't reach her to check with her so I just did it anyway. You know, it's just, you just finally thought this fence issue was all going to be over and done with and it's just created another problem. 
in a recent video I took you for a walk around my yard and showed you the mess I'm living with at the moment I don't cope very well with mess and this has been a mess for quite a while now and I'm going to show you that it's not any better if anything it's worse I thought that once the fence was finished I'd be able to get stuck into all those other jobs put things back where they belonged that timber that timber over there would get reused for the purpose that we are going to reuse it for. But the problem is with all this gap underneath the fence, I can't do anything until this is fixed and not secure, but the stop the stones and everything falling from the next door neighbor's yard into my yard. Fortunately, neither one of us has a dog, but if, if they move out or if I move out, and one of us, the new people move in with a dog straight under the fence into the neighbor's yard. It's just not, it's not secure. I'm very, very stressed about the whole situation and having all the mess around everywhere isn't helping. None of it is rubbish. It's all stuff that has a use, will be used very soon. It's just that I can't use it at the moment. Oh, except for Connor's 20 year old bike that's rusty and he hasn't ridden it for, you know, like I say, 20 years. But that's an issue. My garden needs attention. I might do that through the week. Don't know. But I did get this side tidied up. That was that was a little bit of a success. And it, it is still tidy. I mean, that's what happens when you tidy things up. It stays tidy. And it's all looking good. So that was one bit done. I haven't finished the front. I filled all the holes with dirt, but as you can see, there are stones everywhere. I'm gonna have to rake those stones up. They were all stones that were mixed in with the dirt they used to fill the holes, so not a problem. Might do that this weekend. Probably should do that this weekend. We have had rain for a couple of days, which was, as I said before, not great for my body, but really nice for the garden. And today, this is where I'm going to start today. I'm going to start by raking here because where all the old fence and everything was dragged out, there are stones all through the grass, all the way down. And it is just going to be a danger for the lawnmower. So I'm going to try and rake all the stones out of the loose grass and put them in the bin. I will confess that I didn't think that was going to make that much difference, just raking up a few stones and then mowing the grass, but it's made a huge difference. It really has tidied the place up. It took me a couple of hours to do that, and I don't know if you can see it, but I am sweating. I am so hot. I almost wish it was sunny, because I think if it was sunny, it wouldn't be quite so humid. But it's a job well done and any sadness I was feeling about not being able to get to the gym for the last few days, well I don't need to worry about that anymore because it was today was the equivalent of a shoulder and a back workout and yeah I'm going to feel it later. <laughs> I'm going to go and sit down and have a bit of a cold drink and yes Lucy just called me. Let's go see what Lucy's doing. Where are you? Hey Goose! Would you like me to come and sit down and have cuddles with you? Yeah, I'll come inside and we'll have a snuggle and a cold drink. Yes, well, stopping for a sit down and a cold drink was the end of me. <laughs> I kind of crashed and burned after that. I waffled around for a, a couple more hours and, and did a little bit here and there and tidied up a couple of things and tinkered in the garden didn't do much of anything really important I just know that I've had a very successful day considering that I wasn't feeling great when I woke up I was all bummed out because it was cloudy and overcast but I ended up doing something that I hadn't planned to do it was a very successful day I'm feeling so much better and I'm going to sit down tonight and watch a movie have an early night hopefully and 
get out there and get some more done tomorrow so i will see you all next time hopefully we'll be doing something fun or interesting or exciting or any combination of the above and i'll see you all again soon bye tonight for dinner i am taking the easy option latina fresh pasta ricotta and spinach agnolotti yum i always keep something instant on hand for days like this when i'm exhausted i don't want to cook anything too complicated and i i haven't planned ahead in the morning because obviously normally if i've got a really busy day i will <laughs> i will um plan dinner in the morning and have it all prepped and ready to go and sometimes even cooked i just have to heat it up but i haven't done that today so we're having packet pasta and i've even got jar sauce and this is not the one that I normally buy and I licked it when I it tastes okay but <sighs> it's a bit too herby for my flavor but they didn't have the one I normally buy so that's the one I got um, and I'm going to just use it up a bit with some fresh veggies for a bit of extra color and texture and freshness because I always like to do that. Oh, there's my water come to the boil. Just drop this in the water and cook it for about five minutes.